Hello, I'm Carol from Petuna Soul Fitness uh, and today I'm going to do something called Fitness Pilates Accumulator Pyramid. So the way that works is we've got six sort of mini routine exercises. Um, we start with number one, so we do that once, then we add on number two, so we go number one plus number two, then we go one plus two plus three, etc., until we get to six. And then when we've, when we've done all six, we then do them in reverse order, do all six, and then we take one exercise off the end. Anyway, you'll see how it goes. Um, just a little disclaimer, because I don't know any of your medical history or anything, um, you do this at your own risk, it's, it's low impact. So, um, you know, it's fairly safe for most people, but yeah, at your own risk. Okay, right, we're gonna start with a little warm up, uh, a little bit of mobility, and then we'll go straight into the uh, accumulator pyramid. I'm just gonna start the music. Okay, as always with um, fitness pilates, we do the setup. So we do something called ABC, which is alignment, breathing, and centering. So you put your feet together, take your toes out to the corner of the room, and bring your heels directly behind. Just rock gently from side to side. So this is to find our correct posture and to help us relax at the start of the session. Find your centre, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, through your nose, in through your nose, out through your mouth. So now as you're breathing out, have a think about your uh, abdominal muscles. So as you breathe out, I want you to bring your belly button in back towards your spine. So it's a small movement sucking in the belly. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull back. And again. Breathe out, pull back. Okay, now we're going to find neutral spine. So to find neutral spine, you tilt your pelvis forward and back. So go all the way forward, all the way back. Just do that a few times. Take your, take your full range of motion, so as far forward as you can go, as far back as you can go. So that's point A at the front, that's point C at the back, and you're just gonna come halfway between the two points, and that's your neutral spine. It's a safe way to stand. If you're ever standing still, Try and find your neutral spine so that you're not putting strain on your back. So some people stand like this, some people stand like that, and it's putting strain on the back muscles. Okay, so we are ready to go. Let's just have a little warm up of the neck. Take your neck over to one side. And then turn your head. Look over your shoulder. And then take your head all the way up and bring your head down, chin to chest. Now I'm going to roll the head. But this doesn't make you dizzy, it sometimes makes me a bit dizzy. Go the other way. And now roll your shoulders back. Come a bit closer so you can see that. I'm just rolling back. And forward. And then take your hands to your thighs and reach down your leg. So just starting to bring the muscles around the spine in and move those. And then just 
float your arms, float and twist. Okay, I'm going to take the arms out to the side, keep your, your hips still and just shift your weight, your upper body from side to side. So you're just moving your ribs to the side. Okay, keep your hips still. Now we're going to circle the upper body. And then go the other way. Hands on your hips. You're going to start moving the lower body now into the hips. Circle the other way. Okay, now we're going to work through the hip joint. Lift your leg forward and back. Other side. Take your arm up as well. So as you're taking your leg back, make sure you're squeezing the bottom. out to the side, tap down and across the front. Stay on this side. Change legs. Good for balance, this is. Now we're going to circle the leg out and in. Again, working the hip joint in different directions. Two more, one on each side. yourself a little figure of eight with your leg. Other side. And now we're going to lift the knee, take the leg out to the side and down. So just opening up the hips again. Working on balance. One more, then we're going to squat and lift up on tiptoes. So imagine that you're sitting down on an imaginary chair behind you. That's the movement of the squat, it's a sit down. The bottom goes down, try and get down low. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, and then four side bends, and then four twists. So that's your first little sequence. Just 
Start this. So starting with arm circles. Make sure when you do the arm circles that you look back over your shoulder. Two. Exercise 
So we put arm circles again. Exercise one in four, three, two. exercises again so starting with num the, the, the last one which was your roll down touch the floor that's number one this time so we're turning them all upside down doing them all in reverse and we'll do all six then we knock one off the end okay so we're starting with the roll down so get yourselves in position don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to get notifications of new workouts, which I will post quite frequently. I also do a lot of short videos with tips for exercises. Roll back, up, reach to the back. So you're twisting as you go. Come up. Extend. We 
next one is Superman. Okay, so over onto the front. Onto all fours. Extend. Opposite arm and opposite leg. And take your arm up. Take it through. Opposite arm, opposite leg.
the last time for that one. So come down onto the floor while we're waiting. Just roll your knees from side to side. Release that, those back muscles, those lower back muscles. This is what I always do to release the, uh, the muscles when we've been working the core and the back. Exercise one. Yes. So we're going to do the roll back. Roll back. Come up. Roll back. Reach. your back, tabletop position, pet their palms. Breathe out as you extend. Thank you. 
reach back. is complete well done okay we'll have a stretch out now so i will start my stretches with a little roll again so rolling your knees from side to side Some 
bring one foot over your bent knee, take the other foot off the floor, pull it towards you, get a nice stretch in the hips, circle your ankle, and circle the other way. And bring that foot down, stay in that position, and roll, your, roll so that your knee goes to the floor and your foot goes to the floor the other side. Use your arms out to the side to stabilise you. And then swap legs. Take your foot off the floor. Circle your ankle. Circle the other way. Bring your foot down and roll. Okay, and then come over onto all fours. Take your time. Find it difficult to flop, uh, flip over from one side to another, just take your time. And then you're on all fours, you arch your back up, and then down, lift your head and your bottom up, arch up, and down. And then sit back on your knees, on your heels, sorry, arms forward, head down if you can get it down. And take your arms over to one side. Back to the centre. And over to the other side. Okay, take, take a step forward with your front foot. Take your other knee back so you get a nice stretch in your hips again. And bring, that, bring your hand to the inside of your foot so it's the arm, the same arm as your foot. And then if you can, bring the elbow to the floor. Not everybody can do this. Hold that there. And then take your knee out to the side and push it forward. And then bring the other knee forward. That knee goes back. So it's almost like you're planning to go into the splits. This hand comes to the inside of the foot and then bring your elbow down if you can. And then bring that knee out to the side and push it forward. Sitting position, bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees drop down. So your knees might be up here or here or down here. Just go within your own range of motion. But if you can push them a little bit further, try and do that. Extend one leg, reach for your foot. And then come 
into a comfortable position for you, which could be like this or cross-legged. And bring your arm across the front of your chest. Pull it towards you. And change sides. Then clasp your hands, push forward. subscribe if you enjoyed the workout and you want to see more and I'll see you soon.